This year is the 12th year Eager has been running their award ceremony. For the last 11 years, it's been focused on innovation, technology development, um, and taking products to market. What Eager's done this year is introduce new categories, and we were quite literally overwhelmed with the number of applications. It was a real challenge to shortlist down to the finalists, um, but we've done that, made some very difficult decisions to get to the, finals, uh, the finalists for, for today. So, exciting day, and we'll see where it goes. I think it's just to celebrate the diversity of the energy sector that we have in the east of England. We're trying to show that we have a supply chain that's fit for purpose and that we have wonderful skills facilities and skills courses available in the east of England. And it's really to try and encourage industry to do more on that front. So we've got a whole range of, of different ideas, solutions, technologies, and we're getting uh, all the finalists to give us a quick presentation, eight minutes, that's all they get, um, and then open to the judges for a quick round of Q&A before we move on, and then the audience and the judges will get a vote later on this afternoon before the gala dinner where we make those presentations. This is uh, some brilliant um, shortlisted companies. It really shows you the, the depth of talent and capability that you've got in the East Anglian area. We're sponsoring one of the awards which is for contribution to the offshore wind sector in East Anglia. So we're really looking forward to announcing that tonight. I think it'll be a, another great event. I think it, it makes people think. And what is great is this is not purely an offshore oil and gas award or a offshore renewables. It's across the board and I think that's the all important thing. Fundamentally, we look for something which will make a difference. It's not just about invention. Uh, it can be a process or a procedure, um, just a different way of doing things. But mostly, it's about making a difference and adding value to the industry. We had some great presentations today, a very diverse range of different things across oil and gas and renewables and right across the skills sector as well. So I think it really reflects what we do so well in the East of England. Tonight I have been very fortunate enough to win the Lifetime Achievement Award. I am delighted to have accepted it and won it. And um, although I'm about to retire, I look forward to still an active life going forward. And I'll cherish this for as long as I live. Um, I have been involved in previous years. Um, first, first year for me being a winner, so uh, that's always a bonus. Um, I've always felt the, uh, the events have been very good. Uh, the standards have always been high, so um, yeah, it's, it's on par if not excelling. Brand new award, new place, new customer, so a lot to us. Really does mean a lot. Yeah, we'll be back next year. Depend our title, yeah, definitely, yeah. It's an outstanding audience to, to put a, what is a, a small innovation forward to get the publicity that it's received today and and it's been fantastic actually not to receive one but two awards this evening um, what better accolade we could have from the innovation that, that has been produced today so warm thank you to all the members uh, and, and to the people that's attended it's been great